Hello. We're here today to introduce the Fluke Biomedical ProSim 8 Vital Science Simulator. This is a full featured, compact, portable simulator used to measure the performance of patient monitors. The ProSim 8 simulates ECG functions, respiration, invasive and non invasive blood pressure, temperature, cardiac output, fetal simulation, and SpO2. The ProSim 8 is intended to be used to test and verify the basic operation of patient monitoring devices or systems used to monitor various physiological parameters of a patient. The ProSim 8 can also be used to calibrate in some cases and can also be used for training purposes. If we look at the front panel of the device, we first see the 10 ECG posts. They are easy to disconnect and connect. We also see two IVP channels, temperature, cardiac output, SpO2, which is currently connected to our spot, NIBP, an LCD screen, as well as various functional and navigational buttons. In the rear of the device, there is a USB port for remote access, as well as a high level ECG output. As we look on the bottom of the device here, we see various patient disease states and chronic conditions. These are exactly as they would appear in a patient. All physiological parameters are correlated so that they reflect a patient to the patient monitor. You can also go through the functional buttons to adjust these. So right now we'll be in normal, we'll go to ECG, and we can adjust the heart rate to exactly what the patient monitor manufacturer say, states in their service manual. We can also do the same for NIBP by adjusting the blood pressure in one millimeter of mercury increments. We can also go through in SpO2 where we can also make the same adjustments, but we can also choose the type of pulse oximeter so that we're, yeah, we're using the right R curve. In IBP, we can choose the chamber, pressure, and artifact. Moving to special functions, we can see respiration, cardiac output, temperature, and fetal simulation. There's also the option to use auto sequences. Now, there's a list here but you can also create your own. If we go into the first one, monitor testing, we can see that there are three steps. If we were to start this, the three steps would be performed and the results would be displayed to us to manually save as pass or fail. We could also record, uh, record them right then or there. So if we exit out of here, you can also see that we have onboard memory. When you save those results, the they, they will be saved on the onboard memory for you to uh, observe at your desk after you've come back from a day of testing. You can see which tests passed and which tests failed. And if you wanted to take this one step further, Fluke offers their answer software platform, which allows for you to write test procedures, save test results, and automate the pass-fail procedure. If you have any questions, are ready to request a quote, or would like to request a demo, please visit us at flukebiomedical.com.